And this week we are finally Ooh. announcing the <laughs> online store. There's going to be a little history, a little bit of fun, a little bit of art, and a bit of jewelry too. Yep. Welcome back everyone. Welcome, we are in Paris. <laughs> we have the Dome des Invalides behind us and it is a beautiful summer's day. It's been a very, very exciting couple of weeks. Since we last saw you, we took you to the magnificent masked ball at Versailles. And if you haven't seen that video, that was one of the weirdest, most wonderful evenings that we've ever had. It was good fun though. It was the world's best day. Fun. I thank you so much, sweetheart. That was my Christmas gift. Yes. And I've been looking forward to it for months and I'm still pinching myself with how magnificent it was. The other really fun and exciting thing that we have coming up is that as soon as we're done here in Paris, we are on our way to our friend Stephanie's at the wonderful Chateau de La Lande, home of the Chateau Diaries, where Simon is going to be celebrating a very, very special birthday. And it's actually going to be filmed for British television. So we cannot believe. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I know. But it's really, kind, it's really kind of them to invite us. So I'm really looking forward to that. I know. Yeah. We don't know what to expect. Nice to spend time with them as well, which is great. So. That's the main thing. We're going to go be with friends. And um, we already had a little birthday celebration here just this weekend with Isabella in Paris, but she had to rush back to school. And the celebrations are going to continue. We've been back and forth the chateau, but the thing that we've been working on most of all is the website that we have been talking to you about for months. We have both been working on it for months. I have been creating designs for it that are all my own, as yeah, well as yeah. some prints of antique etchings that we have in our chateau in our personal collection that we told you that we would make available to you, such as the Joan of Arc print. Yep. And best of all, by huge popular demand, Simon's photographs. There's a whole section of just his beautiful photography, which we showed you when we did our gym gallery episode a few months ago. Yeah, finally, the prints will be available. So for those of you that were kind enough to like those, if you'd like to have one yourself, then they're going to be available in a range of different sizes. So please feel free to have a look at the site and pick the one that suits you or, you know, as many as you like that suits you. <laughs> We've tried to create things that would go for a gallery wall, all different pieces mm -hmm. that will go together or stand alone and in conventional sizes. The sizes that we have available, you can go to your local shop or get online and find easy frames and get as creative as you want to with the pieces. We all Many of you may recall that last year we made a huge episode all about Joan of Arc, the patron saint of France, also known here in France as Jeanne d'Arc. We explored her extraordinary history, much of which is local to our chateau, and dates back centuries. She's globally regarded as a feminist icon, a young woman of extraordinary courage, and even something of a medieval style icon. After obtaining a very rare and beautiful Art Nouveau book of illustrations and songs about her life, we decided to create an entire bedroom and bathroom using this artwork as our theme. Each image represents one of the main events of her life, and we have chosen the six most beautiful to offer on the Chateau Love online store. We were then unbelievably lucky enough to find and buy a hand-colored etching dating to 1897 by the artist Albert Lynch, which we later discovered was the only known copy from that year. The other similar images are from a later date, and many available online are copies of copies of copies, so terrible quality. After many requests, 
We promise to make very high quality prints of these images on archival paper. And the day has finally arrived for us to honor this promise to you. The prints are even more wonderful than the originals because they can be larger or smaller sizes. And after much testing, sizing, and many, many sample orders, the images are indistinguishable from the originals. And if you missed last year's Joan of Arc episode, I will put a link at the end of this video so you can see all the work we did in the little bathroom and in the bedroom, as well as how we used this artwork in place here in our own chateau. It was such a fun, fun project. And it was really fun being able to bring all of you along with us also. I just ordered this off my sister's website. It's a Joan of Arc print. And this one right here, I'm gonna be able to frame in a 12 by 18 frame from Michael's, which I happen to have right around the corner. Michael's is a craft store that's pretty popular in the United States, so you may have one nearby also. This is a small Joan of Arc print that I'm gonna be able to put in a five by seven frame lovely and this is one of Simon's prints that I'm gonna put in an 8x10 frame. It's gorgeous. The colors are really vibrant. I'm excited about it. also have fun and affordable bits of fashion, uh, mugs, some wonderful bags and tote bags. And also I created some art prints called the Châtelaine du Jour and Châtelaine de Nuit, which means uh, Châtelaine by day and Châtelaine by night. I was inspired, obviously first and foremost, by my own life, but also by all of our friends who have their own chateau, but all of the women and men out there, because there's a man and a woman version. Um, who work really hard to create the kind of lives that they want to. But there's a lot of work hard, play hard. So we have a, had a very exciting delivery. Okay, what is it? The prototypes have started arriving for the website and I wanted you to open this one. I can tell from the box that it's going to be it's some of the print. artwork. It's, I'm hoping that it's the uh, Châtelaine du Jour and Châtelaine de Nuit, the, you know, the ones of the Châtelaine by day and by night. Uh -huh. Open it carefully. Okay. because we're on our way to a special friend's house and if that's what it is then I'll be able to frame it and give it to her. And also we're doing a lot of quality control so we're opening a lot of boxes like this lately to make sure that all of the items for the website are well packaged and good quality. Apparently it's very well packaged. Okay. So it's wrapped in, okay, good. Because it's meant to come wrapped in tissue paper. That's good. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous because this one is my own design. And- <laughs> These are great. Are they? Are they really? Great, yeah. And it's meant to look like an old etching. Yeah. But at the same time, like a bit of modern artwork because it's my own artwork. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm so excited. Okay. And so I'm pleased with the wrapping. So it's come properly wrapped, properly protected. There are no creases, no marks. Now, you wanted this to be the Châtelaine du Jour. 
So there's Châtelain by day, Châtelain du jour, yeah. and Châtelain by night, Châtelain okay. du nuit. So these can be either pictures that are hung now these are... by themselves or as a pair. Okay. And also I designed the man version as well. Okay. But these are the female these versions. These are the female versions, okay. Okay, your... come on, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Your, your, I tell you, so your customers are going to love these. Okay. They are fantastic. You're killing me, you're killing me, you're killing me. Um, I, I think it's great. These are awesome. Okay. So, this is... <laughs> oh, yes, there at, she look is. Look at the colour. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I was really hoping this would come out like this. Uh, so, I love her so much. She took a long time to design. So, she is a chatelaine by the day. You see, she's cleaning, sewing, researching gardening of course and there are all of her tools and then okay carefully set her aside because I'm about to frame her I have beautiful frames and here she is at night she is out of her working rags she has not one but two boyfriends and her girlfriends in the back and of course there are macarons and champagne and dancing and I'm really, really, really pleased with these. And I guess to show them both together, we'll have to frame them because it's kind of hard to show them right now side by side, but they really do complement each other. And for anybody who's interested, there's also a tote bag and a t-shirt and a man's version on the website. Yeah. Well done, sweetie, these are great. When Simon was all dressed up at Versailles, he took the opportunity to model our Marie Antoinette La Vie en Rose bag. And as you can see, I got a little jealous and decided to get in on the modeling act myself. I loved carrying this bag. It is super durable. It had so much stuff in it for our evening, namely a couple of pairs of comfortable shoes and even a blanket for lounging out under the stars in the gardens of Versailles. And as you can see, it is double-sided and even has a pocket inside, which is perfect for your cell phone. But I do know that I've got a lot of work still to do for uploading jewelry onto the website because in addition to very affordable and fun, lovely gifts and items that I've been designing, I've also spent the last year sourcing wonderful and unique pieces of antique jewelry here in Paris, in England, in Italy. It's a wide range of magnificent, mostly one-of-a-kind items that have been hand-created and have a bit of history and a great story in all different price points. Jewelry isn't just for women, you know, it's for men too. So have a look, I'm going to be modeling a few brooches that'll certainly dress up your jacket uh, instead of handkerchief. So you should have a look at those and see how they go. They're magnificent. We actually have some bracelets that work for men, cufflinks. Um, okay. And I have a very special gift to give to our friend Philip when I go to La Lande, which I'll show you a little bit of now. And, and here's an example of some of the items that we'll be selling. Two of the things I'm most excited to show you are these beautiful Joan of Arc pendants. I have them available in sterling. And then this is a gold vermeil over sterling. And what I think is so beautiful about these is that on the back, they're reversible. And there's this beautiful Art Nouveau image of flowers and a star. I've got a few of these actually, and I source them from a religious order here in the Loire Valley. And so I wanted to have some jewelry that was affordable. So these are currently being sold at $75 each plus shipping. Or of course, if you buy over $200 worth of anything from the site, it's free shipping. And that's internationally, of course. We have no idea how old these are. Even the place that sold them to me didn't know how old they were. 
but I just think they're wonderful. I've got a few other Joan of Arc items as well that are absolutely antique and one of a kind, but these are really super. I thought it might be fun to show all of you a little sneak peek into my jewelry workshop. Back here, I've got all of the tools that I use for measuring and weighing and repairing. Cleaning, of course. There's a lot of cleaning that goes on with the jewelry. And then all of the wonderful pieces that I'm photographing for the website. There are so many fun things here. And of course, I look at them through the magnifying glass to make sure, let me see if I can get this on film for you, to see all of the details. And some of these things are so wonderful. So tomorrow we're going to be going to the Chateau de la Lande and I've got a lovely gift here for our friend Philip. This is actually a Grand Tour bracelet. It's beautifully made with inlaid enamel. And these are all different regions of France. I really, really hope he likes it. And over here, I've got a couple more similar bracelets. These are so hard to find, but they're just wonderful. This one is all of the, the heraldic crests of the castles of the Loire. And then this one's really interesting. These are the crests of the six Celtic nations. So, and then this one in the middle is a combination of all of the crests, but I just love the fleur-de-lis, the harps up here, the beautiful symbol. This one is of uh, King Francois the First. You've got the porcupine, the salamander, the fleur-de-lis, of course. This is a really fun piece right here. This is actually an original Chatelaine. These were very popular in the 1700s and 1800s. You see uh, a grand lady would wear one and it's got a watch and a mirror. This is the original mirror. In here we have, this is a vial for perfume. It actually opens. And this little wonderful thing is the original dance card. You see it's got the original pencil and it's even got the original sheets of paper. This wonderful thing is a sterling silver Mispa brooch. And what it says, if you go very close, if you look at it very closely, let's hold it up under here. It says in the tiniest little letters, the Lord watch between me and thee when we are absent from one another. And these are such lovely things. They were given to sweethearts and given as terms of endearment at the end of the Victorian era and especially up to World War I when it was just a way of keeping two hearts together across a long distance. And then I have these incredible, one-of-a-kind, handmade, enameled, signed Limoges brooches. This one I love because it looks like stained glass. And then over here we have some of these. They almost look like micro mosaic, the way that they've been raised and enameled, but they are so special. Each one signed by a different artist. And then some beautiful hand-painted porcelain brooches. You know how I love hand-painted porcelain. One of the most extraordinary things I have to offer is this late Georgian or early Victorian citrine spinner fob. Fobs were used usually to hold a watch in place, but now they're highly collectible as pendants. And it's incredible. You see the way they, they spin and also the way they reflect the light. This one is in 15 karat gold. It's currently being sold without the chain. I don't actually have a chain at the moment that would do it justice, although I could probably find one for the right person. But isn't it just wonderful? It's hard to show how great this is in still photographs, but I just love it. I'm quite tempted to wear it this week, actually. <laughs> And then some great little vintage finds, like for example, this guy, he is vintage Swarovski crystal. He's either a panther or a cougar, whichever one suits, suits you. He's, he has a lot of Cartier and Chanel vibes. Both Cartier and Chanel created pieces that were very, very similar to this, although mine won't be nearly as expensive. And then this little guy, this is Simon's favorite, little poodle brooch. 
I think he's actually planning on wearing that this week. And I love this one too. This is a this is an Edwardian gold-filled tulip brooch. I think it's just beautiful. The trombone clasp. Full Victorian Joan of Arc brooch. Another hand-signed enameled Limoges brooch. And this magnificent ring, which is 18 karat turquoise and match seed pearls. Over here, this is a necklace that I have created from a World War I medal. I'm trying to create some pieces that'll work for men and for women. You see on the back, it's got the dates, 1914 to 1918. And I just think it's so special with the swords and the Maltese cross. And this is another wonderful item. This is actually vintage, it's not antique, but it is a snake, which was very common for good luck in the Victorian era. And it is, 14 karat with a diamond and rubies. And then over here, I love this. This is a pendant. Many of the pendants I'm selling with modern chains, so you've got a way to wear it when you get it. This is a double heart with a fleur-de-lis. And on the other side, it says, toujours fidèle. And what that means is always faithful. So this is a very, very special pendant. And then over here, we have a collection of Wedgwood jewelry. You see, this is my light box. I used to photograph things. And so many of these pieces are beautiful. I've got several pieces in the black Wedgwood, the blue Wedgwood, and the green Wedgwood. These are all vintage, and it's incredible the quality. Some of them are in sterling, some of them are in 18 karat gold, and some are in 12 karat gold filled, but they are just so beautiful. And we have many, many, many more pieces coming very soon. All of our jewelry pieces are shipped in a beautiful black box, be ribboned, of course, with a signed card, and lots of other little goodies thrown inside. As you can see, we are not in front of our own chateau. We are standing in front of the beautiful Chateau de Lalande where Simon is celebrating a big birthday. We're not gonna tell you which one it is. It could be, I think, one of three big it birthdays. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, not, we're not worrying too much about the age. And our lovely friends have decided to celebrate it in style because we've had a film crew here for British television, which I think ends up in lots of different countries, and we feel so privileged. But mostly we're excited to be here with our great friends celebrating this wonderful occasion. Yeah. And it has been an incredible week. We started out in Paris, and we're so glad you're here celebrating Simon's birthday with us. <laughs> okay, we've dashed in from the drizzle, and we're sitting in this beautiful little alcove. One of the most fun things about being here at Lalande is that we have all of these very dashing gentlemen who all love jewelry and have been wearing the most beautiful brooches. And so I'm about to show you Simon's right here. This is actually a vintage one and it got a lot of compliments. It's a very French looking- It did, yeah. <laughs> it's a very French looking poodle. It's a bit of vintage costume jewelry, but it's so much fun. So. This is a great way to dress up your jacket uh, rather than using a handkerchief or something. A brooch is a great way to do it, especially if it's something of interest like an antique or vintage piece of jewellery. And uh, we've been experimenting with this and I've been getting a lot of compliments with my jackets and these brooches. So all of you gentlemen out there who want to try something new, this is a great way to do it. Um, and this is a great way for you to uh, support the channel and at the same time get yourself a really nice piece of jewelry that you can use on your jacket. So I give it a 
thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> and you look great, by the way. Thank you very And much. don't forget cufflinks. Oh, yeah. Those, well, are, coming those too. are coming too. <laughs> and then the other things that we're featuring are everything from Georgian, Victorian, Edwardian, Art Nouveau. It's going to be really so great to share all of this with you and tell you the stories behind all of these incredible items. And I want to thank you all so much for your support. Um, as you know, this little vlog has been a labor of love. And anything that you do to help support the vlog and also to have something delightful to bring out your inner Chatelaine is so much appreciated. So while everybody back at Lalande is filming for Channel 4, as you're the birthday boy, we have snuck out to a local restaurant and the food has arrived. What have we got? This is tartar of salmon. And we can barely get through our meal because you keep getting phone calls getting from phone calls all the family people. and friends and wish Isabella. To wish me happy birthday, so that's very nice. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm very lucky. Now you know that Maria is cooking you a special birthday dinner tonight, right? I've heard something about that, yes. And it's going to be filmed for television. Yes, Channel 4 is filming you. Because <laughs> <Do> you? <laughs> it's a special sure day. <laughs> I don't know if we're ready for that. No, we're ready for that, of course we are. Okay, this birthday is just getting better by the minute. Yeah. What have you got for your lunch? I had a pork chop. That's a pork chop? Yeah. That's a pork chop and a half, I think. I think it's great, isn't it? Oh it's my goodness. Hot. And you had sea bass. And I'm having sea bass. Isn't that beautiful? It is. I'll take a picture of this and send it to you. What is this, I wonder? It's gorgeous. Very tasty. Mmm. <laughs> But what I'm wondering is, are you going to have room? I can't believe you polished that whole thing off. Yeah, I didn't have breakfast though. <laughs> it really is a good birthday so far. Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> but... Well, thank you for my birthday lunch. That was very nice. It was delicious, wasn't it? We've got yeah. so many fun things planned for the rest of the day as well at Lalande. I know, and I think this must be the best street in Le Chat because apart from the fact that it has a brilliant restaurant, look what's right next door. What is right next door? Ha ha ha, broke aunt. Broke Shall aunt. we go in? Yeah, let's have a look. I mean, my birthday's soon. I mean, we're right soon. here. We're right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my birthday's soon. Your birthday is a gift that keeps giving. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Actually, your birthday is the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> okay, what do you see? Mm -hmm. What do you see? Ah, I'm just hunting out little bits. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, look, that looks like the... That looks very similar to one that Sally just gave me that has the ladies that have the actual real dresses on. Yeah. Yeah. It's very sim. I wonder if it's the same one. No. No, it's not. It's so pretty, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's just an illustration of the dress in 1872. It's very sweet. Pretty cool. What is that? Well, I think it's a hairbrush originally, but I'm. it's still in very good condition. Well, okay, it's from the turn of the... Do you really... 19th century, so... Do you really want to use somebody's old hairbrush on the remaining hairs that you have left? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to use it for my clothes. Oh, that's a great idea. Show me. Because uh, oh, I need something. And it's, I think it's natural bristles. Yeah. And oh, it's, it's monogrammed. Uh, it's monogrammed. And, uh, I think it needs a good clean. Well, it's just going to be used to brush down my I jacket. I think that's a lovely idea. Somewhere. Okay, good idea. I love it. <laughs> so I'd rather have that than buy something new. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Perfect. Joyeux anniversaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying on a few extra days to do some painting. And while we're standing here, Simon's off to Paris to go to work, yeah. but he is wearing a spectacular brooch, a beautiful Art Nouveau signed Limoges enamel brooch. 
and I'm wearing one too. All of these will be available for sale on the website. Um, they're beautifully made, just exquisite. And this has been a little bit of work and a little bit of play here at La Lande, yep. finishing off the website, enjoying the company of our good friends. When you have a moment, go along and check out the online store. The sun came out. So it's time for me to go. And I just want to say thank you for the most wonderful birthday ever to Philip and Stephanie. And of course to all our friends, Anne Marie as well, who's here working hard. I know, it's so been amazing. It's, great, it's always great to come here and meet everybody again. You know? Well, as much as I love you, I don't love you enough to leave. I'm coming back this yeah. evening. Yeah. Poor Simon has to go to work. <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> I'm taking him to the train station. Behind to do some painting. So Sounds cool. great. Cool. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. All right, on y va. Join us next week as I teach Philip, Isabel, Percy, and Chantal how to paint blue and white tiles at home without needing a kiln. If they can do it, you can too, and I will show you step by step. They have a very special surprise for Stephanie, and let's see if she likes her gift when it's all said and done. Looking forward to seeing all of you next week for lots more Chateau love and Paris love. Give your heart and soul to me And life will always be La Vie en